It is Macular Degeneration Awareness Week, so it's a good time to pay special attention to our sight. This eye condition is the leading cause of blindness in older Kiwis. Joining us on the couch today is optometrist Philip Walsh. Philip, now what part of the eye are we talking about? Good morning, Mel. Um, we're talking about the centre of the back of the eye, so if we looked through the pupil, you'd get to the retina, and that's the part that does all our visual processing, allows us to see, and it's the central part of that retina, right in the middle at the back. And it allows us to see detail, like recognise people's faces, drive cars, right. important colours. Things. Yeah, really yeah. important stuff. And like everyone who's looking at the television screen at the moment, they're using their macula to do that. Okay, so we want to keep them nice and healthy Absolutely. and so they don't degenerate. So when so this is when you go to the optometrist and they shine the bright light in your eye. Is this the part where you're looking at the back of our eye? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So if when in an eye test you would generally when you go for an eye test, most people think mm -hmm. about just the a spectacles. E -I well, just about your glasses prescription. And of course, it's very important. But for us, as eye care practitioners, it's really important that we look carefully at the health of the eye. And right. that's the bit we're doing when we're looking with that bright light, looking at the macula. Okay, we're looking at how they do that now. So what are you looking for then at the back of our eyes when you're looking in there? What we're looking for is subtle changes. Now, those changes might be due to general health issues, perhaps like, you know, blood pressure or diabetes. They might be eye-related issues like glaucoma, cataracts, but of course macular degeneration. Okay, it's very important to keep on top of all these things. Mm. What about, what would we notice if there is something going on macular degeneration-wise with our eyes? Yeah, quite a tricky word to say, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, macular I mean, degeneration. Yes. Yeah, I yeah. nailed that, yeah. actually, Philip. Yeah. Yes, very exactly. Much, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I said it already? Yeah, a lot. Yeah. So, but um, things that, that are most common with people start to have difficulty with really fine detail, maybe recognising faces. Um, Static sort of patches in the middle of your vision, not things that are moving, but static. And also, um, but probably most importantly, is when people start to notice that straight lines do not look straight anymore. They get a slight wave or a break in okay. them. Okay, because not noticing fine details, that can just be a sign that you're aging as well. Yeah, you're, you're quite worse. right. I mean, it's really important, I think, that older people don't dismiss changes in their vision as just part of getting older. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, as some people do come to us, and they have macular degeneration in one eye and they only notice it because the other eye is starting to get it as well. So what can you do then if you do have it? How can you avoid m making it worse? There's a lot of, um, lot of studies around macular degeneration. It does depend on the type of macular degeneration. There certainly are things that can be done that can help slow down, mm -hmm. that, um, slow down that pace. One of the biggest risk factors that we can do something about though is smoking. Okay. So you're two or three times more likely to get macular degeneration if you smoke. Another good reason to give up smoking Absolutely. then for everybody. Mm. Now you brought an eye test, a very simple eye test in for us to do mm. as well. So what do we do? Let's do this together. It's really simple. It's just test called Amsler Grid. You can get this on the sort of macular degeneration website. It's really easy. Yeah, so um, what we do. So what we're going to do is... The audience have got one too. They're all doing it. Good. And I do like this one because we can put it on the fridge. You yes. know, and oh, it you reminds better. people. It's got a little magnet on the back. So what we do is we just cover one eye. Really important generally that people have their reading glasses okay. on. Okay. So they cover one eye and make sure they're looking at that black spot in the centre there right and make sure at the same time you're aware of all four corners of the square and then recognize all the vertical and horizontal lines and make sure they're nice and straight and all the squares are complete right. and that's all it is simple as that and you do the other one as and long as they're not wavy the way, right? things yes, are good um, and so you should also uh, this is what you would happen if you went to the optometrist they do something similar yeah absolutely yes and that's good right. so I've been tested audience yeah. how are you looking everyone good Yes, pleased to hear it. Hey, Philip, that's been really interesting. Now, this test is on the Macular Degeneration New Zealand website as well. See, I said it again, Macular Degeneration. And because it's Macular Degeneration Awareness Week, Specsavers has very generously given us three prize packs to give away to the cafe viewers. Each is worth hundreds of dollars. They're on screen now. It includes a voucher for a free eye exam and a voucher for two pairs of designer glasses. They can be redeemed at any of the 51 Specsavers stores nationwide. So go to the cafe website cafe.co.nz to enter the competition philip thank you so much Excellent. for coming thanks along. for having that me that's been great and very useful advice thank you.